I'm pleased to be joined by Lori McKnight, the executive director for Children Awaiting Parents here in our region. Lori, thanks for a few minutes. Good to see you. Yes, it's good to see you too, and thank you for having me. So children awaiting parents, uh, the need is ever present. We know that in our community through our conversations through the years. What's it been like during the pandemic, the last six or seven months? Well, this year has been a very challenging year with the pandemic. It has had an effect on the agency as a whole and more, um, more so on the children who are waiting in care, in foster care for the families that um, we're trying to place them with. Placements were halted um, for a time during the COVID shutdown and children ha who have been waiting the longest in the system are, um, there's been a barrier actually and they've been held up from finding those forever families. You've got a gala coming up on November 6th and it's interesting the way you're going to present this. Tell our viewers what's on tap. We have had to come up with a hybrid experience um, for our, our annual fundraiser. And what that looks like this year is a virtual gala with some in-person live uh, event as well as uh, all virtual auctions and entertainment. All right, this is happening at the Comedy at the Carlson, November 6th. It's home, heart, and harmony around the table, food from your family tree. What will we experience? We will have MC Scott Spizano and Sandy Waters from 98.9 .9 The Buzz. We're so excited to have them with us. Um, there will be virtual entertainment from Paradigm Shift. From, and if you're not familiar, that's a, a soul jazz trio. Mm -hmm. from Primetime Funk, which is a 10-piece-driven powerhouse band, and from Bob Snyder, guitarist with a guest. You'll also have live auctions to bid on. How will the proceeds from this fun night be utilized to help children awaiting parents? But this is why it's so crucial for us to have a fundraiser every year in November um, at, in the National Month of Adoption because these funds that we raise help to find those forever families for our children who are waiting so long in care. It, it assists with the visitation process and the trips that the families take to meet those children. It also assists with all the training um, that we must provide uh, for every family, which is a state mandate for um, all and adoptive parents. It's such important work that you're doing. Uh, we're grateful for that, and we hope you have a big night coming up on November 6th. Thanks for a few minutes today.